Hello all. Welcome to part 66 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain the difference between listeners and annotations in Test NG. So let's get started. This question you may get in an interview. Okay, you may face this question in the interviews, guys. So let me explain how to answer this question if you get in the interviews or for general understanding purpose also. Let's go through this session. Okay, what is the difference between listeners and annotations? I already covered listeners and annotations in the previous sessions. Okay, so first, first I covered anno uh, annotations, then I covered listeners. Okay, let me take the listeners down and annotations up. So coming to annotations, guys, will be executed based on test methods, classes, and uh, Test mentioned in the test ng, XML tags, etc. Like suit tags, test tags, class tags, method tags, groups. Okay. Before the test, uh, before the test method, after the test method, there are some annotations. If you provide annotations like at the rate before method, at the rate after method, right? So annotations will start. First of all, we'll start with at the rate symbol in test ng. Annotations will first start with at the rate symbol, and they will be invoked. You see, the main difference is the invoking of that methods. Okay. Uh, you can provide at the rate uh, annotations on the top of the methods and in listeners also we have some methods. So what is the difference between the methods of the annotations and methods, annotated methods and listener methods? The way they are getting invoked, the way they are getting called or invoked is a difference. Coming to annotations, they are invoked based on, if you have like a, at the rate before, annot uh, before method if you have used, that methods will be invoked before any test method got executed. At the rate after method will be executed or invoked after the test method got executed. So here that's what I am saying, will be executed based on the test methods or classes, that is before class, after class, test, before test tags, after test tags and test in XML file, or suit tags, before suit tag, after suit tag, or groups, we have groups also guys, before any group, after any group also, like that, in different ways, okay, this annotated methods will be invoked. But how does the listener methods will be invoked? Listeners methods are not invoked based on this attacks or something. They are invoked based on the events. They are invoked, okay? Based on the events triggered by this test engine things. What are the events? When a particular test tag starts, before the particular test tag in test engine XML starts, an event will be triggered saying that this particular test is starting. So before that, on start, listener method will be invoked, okay? After the test tag section in the test engine XML file is completely executed on finish, listener method will be invoked, right? From iTest listener interface on finish will be invoked. Like that guys, see few examples. Uh, other thing maybe based on the events, best example for based on events is, if a particular test fails, if a particular test method fails, we have to take a screenshot, okay? We have to take a screenshot when a particular test method fails. We cannot use annotations for that. Okay, annotations cannot know whether that when uh, cannot have some methods. Okay, we don't have an annotations which get methods invoked when a particular test method fails. We don't have such kind of annotations, but we have listener methods from I test listener. We have something like on test failure method, listeners method, which will be invoked based on an event that is failure of the test method. When a particular test method fails, then this particular listener method from I test listener known as on test failure will be invoked and we'll be writing the code for taking the screenshot inside that on test failure and the screenshot will be automatically taken. Right, this kind of stuff guys, event based methods, invoking the methods based on the events is possible with, with the help of listener methods. There are different type of listeners guys. I test listener is one of them, but ultimately this listener methods, different listeners methods are getting invoked based on the events triggered in the automation maybe by the test methods or by the tags or whatever it is, based on the events trigger, this listener methods will be invoked and uh, we can uh, take a screenshot of a page when a particular test fails. All these kind of things are possible because of the listeners. But annotations are something like they, they, they change the execution of the control flow, okay? Control flow of the code, guys, okay? The, how the code should be executed. Setup code, if you want to separate, we can separate that into the editor before method and the closure code, like quitting uh, the browser, whether the test will pass or fail. If you want to close the browser, you can provide the editor, uh, the driver dot quit uh, kind of thing into the quit kind of thing into the editor after method kind of annotated methods. Okay. If you want to uh, set some DB connections, okay, or close the DB connections, we have uh, before suit, after suit. Okay. Uh, if you want to run, uh, do some initialization before a group of test runs. 
a particular group related test runs you can say before group after group like that all these annotations are working they are working based on the requirement but here listeners are working based on events guys okay annotations will be invoked based on the test methods classes test tags suit tags and depending on the groups and many more but listeners will be invoked based on the events triggered by these things okay in test engine so this is what you have to explain guys okay so one simple thing that you can mainly focus if you get this question in the interview is annotations cannot do something like taking a screenshot when a particular test fails that annotation cannot do that okay it doesn't know we don't have a particular annotation which will invoke a method when a particular test method fails and take a screenshot that is not possible with annotations guys that is possible with listeners because listener methods because listener uh, lis uh, there is a listener method known as on test failure from i test listener interface which will get invoked that is on test failure method okay which will get invoked only when the test method fails okay only when the test method fails it will be invoked for all the test methods other test methods which are passing this on test failure method will not be invoked or called or executed such kind of things are possible in listeners so you can give that example to differentiate the annotations and listeners if you get this kind of thing in the interviews okay so with this guys hoping that you got the difference between listeners and annotations in test ng so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye